magic for today. Hello, it is I, Destry, Knight of the Seventh Round Table. For some reason, I'm a knight today. Today's top stories: man boobs. Only moderately creepy, or really, really, really creepy. Find out at eleven. Rainbow. You want to know the best part about YouTube is that you can't actually smell me right now because holy shit. Uh, okay, I'm sure a majority of the minority of the six and a half of you that actually watch my videos are probably, again, confused by this title up here. Oh my god, nine and a half, part two? Seriously? Are you fucking serious right now? What? You guys making fun of- What? Why are you laughing? Nothing's funny, I don't- What? Sm oh, small mouth? Yeah, I got a syndrome, it's called small mouth syndrome. Oh, what? Small mouth? Okay, yeah, that's real mature, guys. I just got over the last confusing title that you put up on YouTube, and now this- it makes me want to go make soup with a sexually frustrated werewolf, and then I want to pour battery acid on an orphan's nostrils. Okay, seriously, whoever keeps leaving those comments needs to be put in jail. It's okay there, Jeffrey Dahmer. No need to murder people anymore. I've got a perfectly great explanation on why this is Nine and a Half Part 2. Stop! Story time! Okay, seriously, was that necessary? Yo mama sip so big, people set their drinks on there. Iron Man Pajamas! <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, so here's the story. I was in Florida, staying the night with a hooker. What? I'm just kidding, that's not the real story. Okay, seriously though, I was in Florida, and I was like, really fucking hungry. So, I go to my fridge, I look inside the fridge, and there's a chopped up hooker in my refrigerator. What? I'm just kidding. No thank you to eating chopped up hooker meat for breakfast. Try the new chopped up hooker meat O's. They're so good that you're going to get herpes and gonorrhea just from eating them. <laughs> I wish there was a like, a dislike, and this video is fucking annoying button on YouTube. At least we know what Rebecca Black's videos would get. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. This is a new low for these videos, guys. Rebecca Black in the middle of my video. Does anyone have a gun that I could use, possibly? Yeah. That just happened. So, one night, when I'm in Florida, I decide to go to Walmart. And at first I'm like, okay, this is probably a bad idea. That was in Idaho. I mean, what could be so different about Florida, right? It's probably perfectly normal. No. Okay, so I walk in, and everything is like perfectly normal. I mean, yes, it still smells like a butchered bat testicle, but that's just Walmart. So you know when you first like walk into Walmart, there's always a guy that'll be like, Hey there! How's it going? Welcome to Walmart! I love my life! I also do cocaine! Obviously that was over-exaggerated, but I mean, they're so nice when you come in, they're just like, Welcome to Walmart! You're gonna die, probably! So I walk into this Walmart in Florida, and things are completely different. Alright, so the first thing I notice is that this guy looks like fucking Mario. Like, I was expecting for him at any time just to pop up and say, It's me, Mario! Welcome to Walmart! Unfortunately, he just looked at the ceiling and said something like, You got lampa? I didn't know how to respond to that. So I was going down the aisleways trying to find some food. I didn't even care what I ate at this point. I would seriously eat Queen Latifah's butthole. So I'm like walking down the aisleways and I see this lady and I'm like, Excuse me, ma'am, do you know where the Pringles are? And she replied, What about some good and I was just like, dude, I think um, we live in the United States. I don't think that this is Narnia or Jabba the Hutt language. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but did you make a fart noise at the end of your sentence? Okay, that's what I thought. I decided to give it one more try. I mean, how hard could it be to just go into an aisle and find some fucking Pringles? I am hungry as shit! So, I go to this last person, and he is obviously quite Mexican. He's quite possibly the most Mexican man I've ever seen. He had the mustache going on, he had the beard, and he had like those shakers in his hand, and he's like, Arriba! Okay, no, I just made that last part up. So I finally get the courage up to go to this last guy, and I say, Ah, oh, man, please say you can tell me where the fucking Pringles are. And no joke, what his reaction was, was this. We have fresh peas for sale. They are two ninety-five a pound. Okay, uh, I don't want any peas, I want some Pringles. There are some crab cakes for sale as well. $8.95. No, no, no. I don't, I don't want any crab cakes. I want some Pringles. Pringles? They're chips? Little, little, uh, little, you know, chips? Corned beef hash. One twenty five again. Okay. Listen here, you motherfucker. I don't want any corned beef hash. I just want my fucking Pringles. One large bag of green beans for sale. How many times do I have to fucking say this? I don't want your green beans, I don't want your corned beef hash, I don't want any of your shit, I just want my fucking Pringles. Did I mention I murdered my wife? What? 
I did not say anything. Thank you for your help, I guess. Also, did I mention how to lose a guy in 10 days is $4 off? I don't give a fuck about your how to lose a guy in 10 days. But anyways, that was my very short story about Walmart. For those of you who know, this is actually kind of an elongated version of the performance I gave at Playlist Live, motherfucker. Really, really fun weekend. Here's a little video that I made about Playlist Live. It's probably the best YouTube convention I've ever gone to. So uh, if you want to go check that out, there's probably going to be a link in the inappropriately placed bar. Oh, by the way, guys, question of the day. What is the creepiest thing that's happened to you ever going into a store? Leave some comments and some video responses below. If you guys would like, I will give you a hug now. You must be really fat if this is how much arm I have to give you. Oh, you weigh 500 pounds and you smell like bacon. <laughs> also, if you guys don't know, I made a gaming channel which can be found <laughs> right here. <laughs> Also, go check out my personal channel, right there, X bitch. And next time, on Destinate, I'm gonna give you some awesome tips on how to give your man a blow dryer. Ha, <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna say something else. Well, I wasn't. Blow job. Blow job. Fine, I fucking said it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting old, guys. Ah, oh, I'm at least 400 in elvish years. Bye, I love you. Jesus.